Here in front of me, I've got a couple of Lamborghini Countach and I believe LPE. Yes, LPE 804. Here on the right side, I have Fluffy. Hey, Fluffy. Okay, but we're not here for Fluffy. We're going to compare all these uh, models. This is from Poster Cars, Mini GT, Hot Wheels, and a Mijoret. And I'm starting with the one from Mijoret. Uh, first, I have to do something with my screen. Yep, that's better. And it also comes with a card. Be careful. And on the card, we have a nice picture of the car, name of the car, and here we have some information. How many cylinders? V12. Whoa. Um, engine size. Horsepower speed. My God, that is fast. In 2.8 seconds from 0 to 100. Or um, in miles per hour, it's 0 to 60. So that is pretty impressive. Okay, let's have a look at the model. So we do have suspension, like most of the Mijoret models. Very nice looking front, I have to say, with the Lamborghini logo here in the middle and a lanced headlights. Wheels and rims, I think they're okay. They are uh, plastic, they're looking good, and we got an opening part. And we got a plastic Base um, 166, I think that is very close to 164. So that is not bad at all. Uh, let's have a look in the interior a little bit better. So. That's better. This is the inside. We can do it here on the other side. Good looking steering wheel, I like that. Okay, here we got the back. Painted rear lights, the exhaust right here. Okay, let's go to the next one, the one from uh, Hot Wheels. Very cool artwork. And it's from this set right here. And from this set, I only have the Lamborghini Countach, the LP E800, and I have the Alfa Romeo. Okay, because I also, uh, card collector. I'm going to do it like this with my letterman. This is how I do it. Very nice.
nice looking card. Okay, so here we got the one from Hot Wheels. Red interior. Also lensed headlights and the Lamborghini logo in the front. Let's do it like this, different camera. Here we got the back, a little bit more details than the one from Mijaret. And we have a metal base. Wheels in the back look a little bit wider than the ones in the front, but I'm not 100% sure. They also look a little bit bigger. Yes, I see. Okay, that's cool. And if we keep it next to the one from Midred. Um, I immediately, immediately see that the one from Mijaret has side mirrors. Now, I'm not sure if the yeah it it's supposed to, it's supposed to have side mirrors. But that's a little bit more realistic, and you must understand okay, the one from Hot Wheels has a little bit more detail here in the back, but. Uh, the one from Mijaret is also a lot cheaper. Yeah, you can see the difference in scale. The one from Mijaret is a little bit bigger. And here we got the side. Both of them. And the one from Mijaret has an opening part. Okay, let's go to the next one, the one from uh, Mini GT in a box package. Here we can see Mini GT is active on social media. It's a licensed product, uh, barcode and article number for the ones who are interested. And here's some information, freeze the frame if you want to read it. Okay, let's take it out of plastic. So uh, for this model, you pay around 10 or 15 euro, between 10 and 15 euro here in Europe. And I think that's a very good price for a model like this. So we got lens headlights and we got the Lamborghini logo in the middle. Here we got a little bit of carbon fiber look. I like that. We got the windscreen wipers. I think they're both missing as well on the Mijaret as on the one from Hot Wheels, so you can't drive these in the rain. Uh, side mirrors, very important for me. That looks much more realistic. Ooh, nice engine detail here, the, the gold color here in the back. Uh, fuel cap here on the right. Oh, this one got a lot of good details here. Again, carbon fiber looking. Good rolling wheels with authentic rims um, no brake disc and claw that's the only thing that is missing uh, that uh, what what i think is missing on the mini gt vehicles for the rest is almost perfect we got a nice uh, metal base normal screws so you can do some customizing without damage the car uh, lands the rear lights also. Yeah, this is a very beautiful looking car. Let's have a look inside. Let's have a brighter light. So a nice 
Lamborghini steering wheel looks good. Some details on the dashboard, no color details. Oh. We have no mirror in the car for looking back. Yeah. Very nice looking car. I will uh, compare them when I uh, finished with the poster car models. So this is from poster cars. Um, this is pretty new on the market. And when they first released uh, these 164 cars, I was like, whoa, they are looking really good. And the price is also uh, very good. And I think it's a licensed product. We got the Lamborghini Automobile sticker, license sticker right here. Yep. McLaren. Official license product, there it is. And some information, freeze the frame. Freeze the frame if you want to read it. Yep, the diecast company, the Netherlands. That is the biggest diecast car store in the world. And I did. I made a, a couple of videos over there. If you want to have a look in that store, go to my YouTube channel or go to YouTube, type biggest diecast car store in the world and you will find my videos. Uh, as we can see, it comes in a nice display case. Here, the name of the car. 164 scale. Oh yeah, this one got a brake disc and a brake claw, rubber tires, good rims, let's switch to the close-up camera, we got the windscreen wipers, nice red interior, we got side mirrors, we got the fuel cap right here. Good details here in the back. I already see nice profile on the tires. I like that. Uh, let's take it off the base. Mm, yeah. There it is. Okay, we got a plastic base. Very good rolling wheels. And yeah, also some engine details, but here it's not gold, here it is metal. Oh, I like the red accent in the interior. Okay, let's have a look inside the car. Yeah, also good Lamborghini steering wheel. No color details. Okay, let's compare this one with the one from uh, Mini GT. So yeah, the size is uh, pretty much the same. We can see Mini GT is here on the right, by the way. Uh, the side mirrors are black. They got both uh, windscreen wipers. The dashboard looks pretty much the same, only Mini GT has some more details. This also looks pretty much the same. Uh, Mini GT has a better fuel cap. <clears throat> and I think also the engine details are a little bit better with the black stripe here in the middle. But still, poster cars, not bad at all. Then we go to the rims. Yeah, Mini GT has some better rims. But again, poster car, not bad. And poster cars has brake disc, brake claw. And the brake claw with a red accent, I like that. And 
<clears throat> now I can't remember the price of the poster car, but I remember it is not expensive. So here uh, we see um, the difference. This is the Mini GT that it has lanced rear lights. But with poster cars, I like that it says Kuntak here on the license plate. And here it also under the brake light, it says Lamborghini. And the brake light here is missing. Now I'm not sure if the real one has a brake light here in the middle, but I think this poster car is definitely a winner. I don't say it's better than uh, Mini GT because they both had here the this is also uh, just black and Mini GT has carbon fiber look. Yeah, that is in my opinion a lot cooler metal base on a mini gt <clears throat> you know what i'm going to look up the price so you don't have to do that back in a sec okay so i looked it up and i will show you now in the video how uh, what the price is of this one six euro 29 for this car that's an amazing price for what you get the one from Mini GT, 11 euro 99. So say 12 euro, that's around 12 dollar. And, and this one, 629 dollar, dollar and euro are pretty much the same at this moment, I think. So this, if you look at price quality, then this is definitely the winner. Um, yeah, Hot Wheels goes in Europe for around uh, $10, 10, 10 euro, $10, I think I bought it for around 12 in a toy store. And the one from Mijoret is uh, between 3 and 4 euro. Okay, um, it is also available in a blue color. I will take it out of the box, why not? And I also saw, because here it says poster cars, but um, on the website of Tom's it says King Smart. They have some pretty good uh, models. Got some pullback cars from King Smart, and uh, these are very good. So yeah, here is the blue version, also a very beautiful color, also with a red interior. Yeah, beautiful model. How does it look? Next to the one from Hot Wheels. So we have no uh, windscreen wipers here. We have no side mirror mirrors. We have a, we do have a fuel cap, but it has no color on it. Um, the poster model has much better rims and brake disc, brake claw. But with the rear, they are pretty much the same. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Hot Wheels has a metal base. That's a little bit better, but uh, the one from King Smart slash Poster Cars has profile on the tires and just normal screws. Hot Wheels doesn't do that. Meteorette on the left, poster cars on the right. So if you didn't know about the price of that poster car, you would say, yeah, that one is like 15, 20 euro at least, maybe more. But six, six twenty nine euro, that's crazy for what you get.
Okay, anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget a thumbs up. Let me know what is your favorite in the comments. And I will see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.